Hi, Reading Worms. The book I'll be reading is called The Bad Easter Bunny, written by Isabel Atherton, illustrated by Stephanie Rohr. The Easter Bunny was feeling sad, and this had turned his bright pink fur blue. Easter was not fun for him anymore. Each year, his job was to carry and hand out presents to all the children. He struggled to hold on to the gifts and stumbled under their weight. The children would crowd around and greedily grab the toys, sweets, brightly colored chocolate eggs, and delicious candy. And they never said thank you. One little boy snatched a shiny gold chocolate egg so fast that he knocked the Easter Bunny to the ground. Wobbling, the Easter Bunny stood and saw all the colors of the rainbow before settling on red. He felt very, very mad, and his fur now glowed a bright, angry red. The Easter Bunny had snapped, and he no longer wanted to be the nice present-giving Easter Bunny. He would now be the bad Easter Bunny, B-E-B for short, and only do bad things. B.E.B. -E hopped up and down on the remaining toys until they were broken into tiny pieces. He ate the chocolate eggs, scattering the empty wrappers with a wicked glee. The street was a mess, and the children ran home. He hopped throughout the neighborhood, doing very, very bad things. Suddenly, feeling dizzy, B.E.B. -E sat down on the sidewalk. His fur turned a sickly green color and his ears drooped. He looked at the trashed neighborhood with the broken toys and empty candy wrappers and no longer felt red with anger. A little girl on a scooter saw the mess and the sick Easter bunny. Why are there broken toys and candy wrappers everywhere? She asked. B.E.B. -E replied, I was mad that no one appreciates me. So I decided to be the bad Easter Bunny. I appreciate you, said the little girl, throwing her arms around him. They gave each other a huge hug. Just because someone doesn't always say they are grateful doesn't mean that they're not. Tears fell from B.E.B.'s eyes and his fur began to turn blue again. He realized he'd been foolish and silly, ruining all the presents and the holiday. B.E.B. -E wanted to give the little girl a present, but there didn't seem to be anything left. He crawled into the giant sack, looked to see if there might be something that wasn't broken or eaten. As the Easter Bunny swung his flashlight, he spotted a bright red shiny wrapper glinting in the darkness. It was an unopened piece of candy. This is for you, said B.E.B., who no longer wanted to be a bad bunny. The little girl was delighted and said the words the Easter Bunny had been longing to hear. Thank you. On hearing those magic words, the Easter Bunny began to change color. He went from pale blue to bright pink. The little girl broke the piece of candy in half for them to share. At that moment, the Easter Bunny realized that being bad will not solve your problems and that thank you are the nicest words in the world. The end. If you like that story and want to read along with many more, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Bye, reading worms, and remember, keep on worming!